Having a high-risk child during uh, the pandemic was not just simple inconvenience, it was more of a stabbing fear that followed us around, uh, made it very difficult to, to socialize or even to go shopping, to go outside, um, because the virus is unknown, it's new, you know, people weren't taking proper precautions, so that just added a whole other mountain of worry on top of everything we were going through. Yeah, and not being able to see um, relatives, grandparents, cousins, aunts, uncles. It's, it's a time where you need to be around people when um, something so scary is happening. And COVID made it kind of hard to do that. Well, if not impossible. Um, we had no lo idea how long we were going to be in Salt Lake. We had no idea um, kind of really what the future looked like. And everyone at the Ronald McDonald House was from the beginning really accommodating and helping make sure that we had what we needed and continued to have what we needed. The Ronald McDonald House alleviated basically aspects of every type of stress we had. One of the big things was just everyone being friendly and I think it can't be understated how important it is to have people when you're going through something pretty traumatizing to smile and remind you that someone made banana bread and Anna made tamales and um, just people being kind and supportive. So we, I think, grew to love the people at the house and we really appreciated just how nice and kind they were even when Zoe was having a bad day. Um, everyone still always was super friendly. And I mean, by the time we left, she was wanted to be everyone's best friend there. And I think it just did kind of take on a feeling of being a home, even though it was such a hard time. After a week or two, it very quickly became our family's home. And we would, that's how we would refer to the Ronald McDonald house with Zoe. You know, we'd say, hey, we're going home. This is, you know, we're home now. And she would love it. And it was just, it became a part of our life. And the people there, they're not just kind and cheerful, they're also mindful of the extremely unique circumstances and the medical needs of the children there. So it's a very special place. I'd like to say thank you to the Ronald McDonald House and everyone who's involved, uh, all the staff, all the volunteers, all the, all the organizations that donate food and materials, all the donors, the organizations and individuals and families and uh, that, that donate money or resources to support the branch here. Because it, it literally changes the lives of sick, sick children and their families. I'd like to say thank you too, because um, I would have never expected to need the Ronald McDonald House. Um, but we're so grateful to everyone who put so much of their time and money and effort to keeping such an amazing organization going. Thank, Thank you, you Ronald, Ronald McDonald, McDonald House. House.